Marcel Kittel, who leads by four seconds in the overall general classification. He leads Caleb Ewan, who is second. Of course, there are bonus seconds on the line, hence the difference in seconds between the riders at the top. So Marcel Kittel getting ten bonus seconds yesterday. Caleb Ewan taking six in the end. And, of course, in third place, you had the rider from uh, Lampre Merida. Of course, it was Bonifacio. He's now another six seconds behind. Two laps to go, start of lap number four of the finishing circuit today and the breakaway is about to be swallowed up by the peloton. There we go, the break for the day is done, all back together. Attack now if you dare, attack now if you can break the speed of everybody at the front. And that's the man there, number 81 in the yellow jersey, Marcel Kittel. That's what all the eyes are going to be on him. Calm before the storm this, because things are about to get very, very hectic indeed. Fumi Beppu on the front. Huge turn being done by the Japanese rider. He peels off after his kilometre. Three riders left now for Trek Factory Racing, but it's not quite fast enough as Orica Green Edge, with two kilometres to go, take charge of affairs. Trek losing their way slightly, and this is where timing is everything, Rob. But here we go. Just one man left now to lead up. The main man, Caleb Ewan. Ewan is waiting. Model all behind him. It is now. Uh, Kittel, who has lost his own lead out man, so Kittel on the wheel of Modolo, and it's going to be Modolo in the end who's going to be led out. Modolo about to come off the wheel of Bonifacio. Oh, and there's a huge crash. Down goes Ewan, but here comes Kittel. Ewan is down, and a handful of sprinters with him. It's Modolo who's going to go. Kittel on the left hand side. Modolo through the centre. It's every man for himself as Peluki comes through to take the win. It's Yam cycling on stage two, and it is a horrible, horrible crash that took down Caleb Ewan that's taken down a whole other host of riders as well. Disaster on stage two of the Tour of Poland. How Kittel got round there, I do not know. And that's it, the explosion in the middle. Everybody goes down. It's amazing, they're both in the middle of the shot, behind the wheels, and then they both went out. One went to the left. One went to the right. Marcel Kittel not overly happy there.